Hello guys, welcome back to Top Drives. Let's go! Hello guys, welcome back to Jack in the Middle. And uh, today we're back for another episode of Top Drives. We're going to be looking at the results from the BMW Challenge. And um, I'm going to show you also a little tuning secret that I have learned. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some gold practice what I preach, show you guys what I do every day so that I could open slots. All right, so there we go. We got our goal. Let's jump right into, into collecting this. So the first is for the rare challenge. We went plus 28, uh, rank 19. Got an aluminum pack. I'm gonna go through that. Um, all right, guys, I hope you guys saw my last video about my the RQ secrets, about, you know, kind of what I've learned and um you know so i was pretty much doing very good dominating very well i even winning cars at the top of um top of the rq80 class but i have since been bumped up so this is a today's challenge I've, I've since been bumped up to rq100 because just from doing the um i was trying to hold off trying to hold back but just from doing the daily races um, you know, winning winning cards back and forth. I have um, I actually it bumped me over to a hundred. So I'm now I'm now in the hundred RQ category, and um, you know I'm still going, still doing daily matches. But it's like I'm 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 coming out negative, negative every single time. So my my um my trophy is going down, down, down. So here's the drag BMW, got plus thirty two, and uh, rank twenty seven. And we got an aluminum pack in this one here. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do look at this here. Um, I there is a, a tuning secret I told you that was coming up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming up right now or if we're gonna do a race first. All right, we got a decent um, super rare performance car from that. That car is still in my garage actually, even though I have no space for any cars. So I'm I'm here. I'm saving gold. And um, actually, since this video, I have purchased purchased more slots and more slots. I think I've purchased slots like three more times since this video. Just just um, going back and forth with this thing. One day, I'll be able to save gold for actual carbon fiber pack instead of purchasing all these garage slots just to keep these regular cars in the garage. All right. So okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the to the daily challenges or you know today's challenge so that's what we're gonna do here i'm gonna pick my competition all right um so we're gonna do that i feel like there's missing something I, I wanted to mention okay i was um talking gonna talk to you guys about the tuning secrets i've learned so we kind of cut away go ahead and look at the screen look at the matchups you guys are kind of familiar with it i don't have to hold your hand so much to tell you why we match which cards to which. And basically, we're just trying to go through the win-lose situ win situation of the hand that you, that you have and um, you know, trying to win as many matches as you can. And um, if you have to lose a match, try to make them the loss not so bad that you can't um, win the overall match. You know, if you have to win, if you have to lose a race, make sure that, that that one loss that you take is not so bad that you have to that you end up losing the overall match all right so it's a little game of give and take sometimes but right, well, what i've learned is you have and we're, we're going to see an example of it soon but since i guess i'm so long-winded i'm going to start explaining it right now about the tuning secret that i've learned you only get 24 points or you know 20, 24 um 24 whatever they call it you, you you have you have um you could upgrade the car 24 times you know up, upgrade upgrade 22 and 24 things and i guess it's uh this car here in particular is a car that come it, that comes up all the time because if you, you see this on the track to max my car is max tune comes out to 4.291 as you can see on your screen for the way i've done it so the way i have done the car i have maxed the um the zero to 60 um, and um, I've kind of neglected the um, the handling which is something I, I guess I kind of just kind of figured out and I, and I figured it out for the first time actually doing this um, 
at the time of doing this video here is where I figured out what was really happening, what was really going on. Um, so my secret to you guys, my suggestion to you guys is don't try to don't try to compensate for the car's weaknesses. For example, this car on the track right now, the um, the Chevy Blazer. You the Chevy Blazer is a very good performing car, zero to sixty, and has very bad handling. So you would be tempting in trying to in trying to tune the car, you'd be tempted to try to fix the handling on the car and neglecting the zero to sixty. Right? And um so you you'd be tempted to do that. Right? And um my suggestion here is if you're if you're close to the top 10 i usually just leave it right there i don't i don't keep pushing i'm going to have to try though because that's another thing we're going to work on I'll, I'll bring that to you in a future video all right so i believe it's right here i'll talk to you about that about the future video in a second so we're going to cut away so looking here we're going to go look at the lotus the lotus has 22 if you notice it says it said where it says upgrade it has 22 of 24 so i have two more slots so i already maxed the engine and um, now I'm about to do the weight reduction because I'm trying to put a, as much to, towards the engine also. But apparently everybody does that. Everybody tries to compensate for the, um, because the grip is very good already. So everybody tries to get the most out of the engine knowing that the car is very good at handling. But the car comes as a great handling car to begin with. So what you want, so my advice to you guys in the, in the in tuning your cars in the future is don't go against the grain. If the car is a great handling car, keep upgrading that handling because that, that's what you're going to need in the long run. And, and the speed will take care of itself in, in itself. In the case of my Chevy Blazer, which is in my lineup right now, if you're trying to do, I think we're going into uncommon performance right now. If you're trying to upgrade the Chevy Blazer, which is a good performing car, you want to keep upgrading the zero to 60 time because that's the, that's what you're going to face in a competition. You're going to face people that have uh, another Chevy Blazer that has great zero to 60 time. And then you, you have a, a worse zero to 60 time because you were trying to compensate for, for, the, um, for the handling. So you are you are putting a lot of points into the handling, and you might end up in a match where the handling doesn't matter too much. You're probably just doing a hill climb or something like that, or uh, you know the, you you might end up on a on an actual um, asphalt track where you know the some uh, and this game is really weird how it how it matches us up sometimes. Sometimes mid mid um, mid range acceleration has more to do with winning a race than the actual grip going around the corner. If you come out that corner and you could beat the, the dude to the finish line, you come out that last corner, you could beat the dude to the finish line. You won the race. So, you know, we have to, we have to be really careful how we, how we do this. But I think it makes it very interesting how they, how they allow that. So everybody doesn't max all the same cards and, and they turn out all the same way. So I think that that was um, very cool of the developers to actually come up with something like that. So every, everybody kind of has a different tune for their cars. Um, so uh, uh, back to what I was saying with you guys. What I've, what I've noticed is um, you have some people in the daily matches that they have tons of points. They're no, in number one, first place, but they have tons of points. And you wonder how that happens. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out for myself one of these days coming up. And I, I think I'll try it with you guys. Is, um, is just even if you're number one, because that's happened to me before, especially if, you, if, you, if you're one of the first people as soon as as soon as the daily matches come up if you're one of the first people to race sometimes you are number one on the board so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go in probably early one day you know, so i get that number one position and then keep racing and see if they, they are still matchups for me to race again race against even though i am in the number one position just to see if um just to see if i could boost my trophy points higher and higher because um, that, that's just something cu something I'm curious about. I'd like to check out. Right? So that's for upcoming video for you guys. So um, we're going to do this here. We're almost towards the end of the video. We're um, going to go ahead and finish out this match here. This was the um, Uncommon Car Challenge. And I'm um, going to go ahead and finish it out here. So you guys new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and, and do so. Don't forget to check out my other video, Jack in the Middle Live, for live streaming, where I do live streaming only. And uh, maybe one day we'll do a 
a uh, top drives live stream. All right, so um, so I want to <coughs> thank you guys once again for joining me here today. I'm just gonna go ahead and collect up these cards. All right, uh, probably take a last look around or whatnot. I don't know if I gave you a garage tour, a final garage tour. The garage is real messy right now anyways, guys, all right? So that's it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I think I'm going to leave you right here, all right? And, uh, you guys be blessed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.